Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick little video about uh, Apple Configurator and imaging iPads. I tried to search for some videos when I started setting this up and there wasn't that many videos about it, so uh, I figured this might be helpful for some of you guys. So I work at a school and we have a couple of these iPad carts. We have 10 iPads in here and uh, they get pushed around from classroom to classroom. Kids use them. Um, and I really wanted to find a way that I can maintain it uh, and you know manage them on the back end that was easier because managing them one at a time became a major pain. So I found out about this tool that Apple makes called Apple Configurator and uh, started to get a little familiar with that and how it works and everything. Basically the process that uh, I'm doing here is I set up one iPad as my master iPad. It's actually this one at the end and uh, do everything that I need to do with it. Um, I use a tool called Cisco Meraki, um, and Cisco Meraki is where I can push applications and apps out to the iPads remotely. So if this, iP if this cart is in a classroom, I can go in Cisco Meraki on my computer, find these carts, and say, all right, install these apps. And uh, then on the, back, on the end user's point of view, they get a pop-up that says, hey, Cisco Meraki is trying to install an app, install or cancel, and they just press install and the app installs right away. So it's a really nice setup. So you set your master iPad up with Cisco Meraki, have all the apps that you want on it. It's signed into the proper iTunes account. Um, everything that you want the way that you want all the iPads to look, all the apps in the right folders, all that stuff, you set up on one iPad. Then you, um, in Apple Configurator, you would be in Prepare, and you just prepare it as its own iPad in Apple Configurator. Um, and you can actually create a backup once it's prepared. I, I can't show you right now because I'm actually imaging the other iPads. So yeah, you basically set up that one master iPad and it's pretty self-explanatory in here. Um, let me see if I can get it prepared just to show you guys. Yeah, yeah, so in prepare, right now you'll see I'm restoring these ELA, English Language Arts, iPad, cart to master. So I made like a master image now. So then all these other iPads, when I plug them in, which right now they're all plugged in down here to this USB hub. Normally when the cart's in the classroom, they're just plugged into power. But when I come and I have to do my service to them, I plug in this USB hub. So then I can have the other nine iPads connected to the MacBook. Um, and then they all show up they all showed up in under prepare first, and I just said restore as this master iPad. And then after I did that, I pressed prepare. Then they all move over to supervise. And you'll see, uh, it actually says seven right now, but it said nine before, yeah, you'll, you'll see them popping up a little bit, popping in and out. That's because they're kind of restarting as they go. But there's actually nine connected in there now. Um, and they're all kind of doing different things right now. Yeah, they're back to eight. Yeah, a couple of them are restarting. Um, you'll see these are just, right now it's installing all these apps, it's doing all the work for me, setting up the iPads all exactly the same. And this is really cool too, because I set them up one time at the beginning of the year, and then I can come through a couple times throughout the year and just plug in my USB hub, plug in my MacBook, open up Apple Configurator, and then what it does is Apple Configurator automatically detects these iPads as this master image that I created, that, uh, this one, the ELA iPad Cart 2 Master Orange. Um, it automatically detects them and it'll automatically restore them back to their uh, school factory settings, I should say. Um, so what that allows is like, you know, the kids might be taking pictures on the iPads. Um, maybe they'll save some bookmarks in Safari or I don't know, maybe they might rearrange some apps, take them out of a folder or something like that. Once I plug it back in through the USB hub and the MacBook, open up Configurator, it automatically switches them back all to their factory settings. Um, so it's pretty nice, it's a nice little setup. Um, Apple's become a little bit more enterprise friendly for iPads. I think they still have a little bit of a way to go, but uh, it's, it's nice, Apple Configurator has been uh, pretty cool. Oh, and one other thing I wanna show you guys. Um, I ran into a little problem when I first started setting it up with 
um, it said unauthor unable to authorize apps. And what I found out is you actually have to open up iTunes on the MacBook and go into store. And here you have to sign into the account, the, the same exact account that the iPads are under. And then you have to press that little guy right there, authorize this computer. After that's done, uh, another place you need to go is Apple Configurator. And in Apple Configurator, you just have to make sure, again, you're signed into the same account. Right now I'm already signed in, so it's just sign out right there. But I wasn't signed in before. Had to sign in there. Have to sign into iTunes, authorize the computer, and then your apps will be able to install. If you don't do both of those steps, um, you can't actually install the apps on the iPad. It'll get hung up and yeah, it won't, won't work. So hopefully this helps you out, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, enjoy the iPads. Have fun.